Have you ever wondered how online job works and what type of online jobs that you can try even if you're an absolute beginner or you don't have much experience? Now, if you want to know more, we'll stick around and I'll show you how. What is going on guys? This is your boy PM and welcome back to Make Sense where you can get your weekly content about tips, tutorials, and all other tech stuffs. So today's video is another tip video and that is all about online jobs. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit that bell to get notified for more videos like this. So in today's video, we are looking at four online jobs that you can try even if you're an absolutely beginner or you don't have much experience. But before we start, make sure to take note though that even if these jobs may be for beginners, but you still need to have the basic skills and knowledge about the following. First, you need to know how to use a computer. Next is you need to know how to use and navigate the internet. And you also need to know how to use office tools like Microsoft Word and Excel. And lastly, you need to have the basic understanding of the English language. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our job number one. So the first online job that you can try as a beginner is data entry jobs. Now data entry jobs are jobs that normally require you to do typing or entering data for your client or your online boss. So under data entry jobs are the following. Typing jobs. So your client sends you scanned documents in a PDF or an image format and normally requires you to convert it into a Word document. Which means that you can do this job by simply typing all the information from that scanned image into a Word document or an Excel format and make it readable and editable for your client later on. So with this kind of job, you will need to have a good attention to detail and a clear vision as well because usually these scanned documents are very hard to read and you need to figure out the contents from time to time. Next is updating databases or CRMs. So with this job, you will normally deal with data and information that needs to be entered on a software or a system that your client is using. Normally, these software or system stores information of real people, companies, places, and services. So always be careful not to make errors that may lead to wrong data or information. So with this job, always expect to receive tons of spreadsheets that you need to work on for long periods of hours. So those are data entry jobs that you can work on. Next is research jobs. Research jobs are jobs that normally require you to use the internet, specifically Google, to search for relevant information on just about anything that your client needs. This means that this job may deal on a variety of information like people, places, products, services, and many more. One example of this job is searching for specific topics. So let's say your client requires you to look for less expensive travel to Maldives. So you go to Google and type in search keyword and hit enter. Then on the search results, try to look for the best possible information that is relevant to what your client is looking for. So you copy and paste the info and you need to save that info in a spreadsheet or in a Word document and send it back to your client as your output. Another example is data mining. Now, data mining is mainly about searching for details like email addresses and phone numbers of a specific person or a company. So what happens is your client sends you a list of companies' websites and your task is to search and supply the missing details like email addresses and phone numbers. So again, you do this task by going to Google and type in search keywords that will help you find the needed information for your client. Just take note though that when you're doing this job, you need to be very careful and accurate on the information that you gathered because these contact information are from real people and companies that your client is seeking for. So those are some of the research jobs that you can try. So as you can see, it really doesn't require you much experience, but only basic knowledge on how to use Google and manage some spreadsheets. Next job is email management jobs. Now these jobs are very easy and will not require much from you as far as technical skills is concerned. You just need to be organized and be accurate. With this kind of job, your client gives you access to an email account and lets you respond to emails and clear the inbox. 
Now, don't worry about how and what to reply because usually your client gives you a guide on how to answer those emails like email scripts and templates that you can use when replying. One example of this job is email outreach, wherein your client gives you a list of people with email addresses that he needs to send emails to. Of course, your client will provide you of his email logins, email template or message, and your job is to send them one by one. Another example of this job is chat support jobs. This is also an easy job because all you need to do is reply to chat messages sent to your client's website or CRM. Now again, any messages that you will reply will either be scripts or simple messages that you will get from the given guide from your client. So those are email management jobs that you can also try. Now last but not the least is the social media management jobs. Now if you're the kind of person who is always active in social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, then this job is definitely a walk in the park for you. Now, this job is very easy and will only require you to be creative and resourceful. This job is mainly about managing social media accounts of your client or his company. Usually, your job is to create posts and update your client's social media accounts with the purpose of improving his or her social media presence and engagements. You will also be doing things like liking, replying to comments, and sometimes answering inbox messages. So as you can probably imagine, this job is very interesting and exciting that the only requirement as I've mentioned before is to be creative and resourceful in creating posts and updates. So there you have it guys, four online jobs that you can try even if you're an absolutely beginner or you're just trying out to work online. I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any comments, suggestions, or any topics that you want me to discuss on my future videos, please leave that on the comment section below and I will definitely check them out. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that bell to get notified for new video uploads. And you can also like and follow me on my Facebook page. Before I go, a big shout out to Concept Gaming Hub. For all of your computer and gaming needs, be sure to check them out and I will put their link on the description below. That's it for me guys. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.